Open your books, please. All right, we're gonna talk about the atomic bomb. Hey, sir. What, Jimmy? I heard the heat from the atomic blast can cause burns from five miles away. Yes, that is true. I also heard it killed over one million raccoons. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny to you, Harry? Your name's Harry. I've never said a word that your name's Harry. No one... I come in once with sunburn. Harry, Harry is his name. Comes in every day like Harry. Harry. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by. All right, thank you. Are you coming home tonight? No, big practice. Big game this week. Yeah, I heard. It's in all the papers. Speak for me, Bill. You know what happens if I win? Bobby's going to let me coach. Senior boys. You are right. I do not care. Oh, my God. That's... What are you doing? That's Kate. Remember I told you about Kate? Uh, yeah. Can you get up, please? Is she gone? Yeah, she's gone. Oh. oh, I don't feel like seeing her right now. She's doing some job interview process here. <gasps> Kate! From college, you proposed to her, kiss yeah. cam, okay. 20,000 people yeah. watched you get rejected. Yeah. That's okay. hilarious. I remember that you telling me. Oh, you still like her. No, I don't still yeah, like her. Yeah, you do. All right. So, how are your girlfriends for me? Hello, Bill. Oh, hey. Uh, Jerry was telling me there's a staff party at Barrels tomorrow. Are you going? Uh, no, I, I have a lot of work to catch up on. Well, you work too much. Yeah, but I bet you'll be there. No, I have a date. Maybe I will go then. I'm growing on you. Yeah, like a fungus. Mm. Mm, have a good day, okay? Bye, Mommy. Bye-bye. There she Bye. is. Jean Jean, the Scottish machine. Hello, Jerry. Ah. Hey, you coming to Kira's game tomorrow? I wouldn't miss it. It is just a thrill to watch Kira on the bench every time. Right, that's sarcasm. But she doesn't bounce the ball. She just walks with it, so I can't play her. I get it. I'll see you at the game. Hey, we have a staff social tomorrow. Why don't you come with me? Well, that sounds like a date, Jerry, oh, and our last date, if hey, you Jerry. remember. What's going on? What are you doing, Norman? Get out of here. I'm talking to someone. Sorry about that. Sorry. Come with me. Yeah, you, you should come. I'm going to go. It'll be fun. OK. Did you not see him in the middle of something? Thanks for introducing me. Look at it. <sighs> so rude, Jerry. That's rude. <sighs> Overall, pretty great performance review. Well, tip of the hat to you, sir. And let me just say what a pleasure it is to serve under you. And as your right-hand man and the drain in the bathtub of the high water. All right. Yeah. En enough, Robert. Thank you. Thanks. There is one small thing. You do have one staff complaint. What the who? They say you tend to blow things out of proportion. Judas. It's not that big a deal. It's just one little thing to work on in an otherwise exemplary review. If you say so, sir. So you'll take care of the rest of the staff reviews? Oh, I'll take care of the other staff. Don't you worry. Mr. Duncan, may I have a word? Okay, you know what this is about? It's about Kate. This isn't about Kate. I have some sad news. Coach Summers at St. Pat's has passed away. Yes. No! So obviously your game tomorrow night is gonna have to be canceled. All right. So we win by forfeit. I, in the grand scheme of things, I guess. Oh, Coach Summers! Summers. What's the name? Summers. Coach Summers! Look, you're gonna have to talk to your team. Okay. I would suggest sensitivity. Maybe we could get some grief counselors. Well, if I tell them the game's canceled, they get all sad and stuff. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about Coach Summers. This could be traumatic for them. I'll tell them it was suicide, because then they'll think he wanted to die. He had a heart attack. How many trips to the buffet did Mr. Summers make? And he smoked suicide. Trudy, review time. Yep. Was it you who said it? Said what? The complaint. What are you talking about, Robert? Come on. Callahan told me. Told you what? That somebody said that I overreact to the little things. Was it you? No, Robert, it was not me. Really? Really. If I was going to complain about you, I'd start with how you can't file anything properly. 
And you don't understand personal space. But you didn't say anything to Callahan about me overreacting to the little things. God help us all if you're having one of your lonely days. Thank you for not saying I blow things out of proportion. Yep. Bobby. <sighs> yeah? That's sad news about summers from St. Pat's. Why are you smiling, then? Well, it's kind of good news for me, though, right? Because now I get to coach senior boys volleyball. What are you talking about, Jerry? You said if I had two wins this year, I could coach senior boys volleyball next year. You still only have one win. Two. They just forfeited. No, it doesn't work like that. You don't record a game that you never played. So what? Forfeited. What does that mean? It's a win. No, it's, it's a forfeit. It means you didn't play. What if I got the game back on? Okay, their coach just died. The whole school is in mourning. There's not going to be a game. Do you think I killed their coach? No! Then why are you talking to me like I killed him? Right? You didn't kill him. Well, Jeez. Hypothetically, then, if we played the game and we won, would I coach senior boys volleyball next year? Sure, sure. Hypothetically, you need this? Hypothetically, sure. Sounds good. Unbelievable. Principal Davis? Mr. Duncan from Xavier Academy is here to see you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Wow, it's like the Oval Office. Mr. Obama? <laughs> so, what can I do for you today? Well, first of all, uh, condolences on the passing of Coach Summers. That's sad. Uh, thank you. It was a sudden heart attack. Overweight, smoker. What are you gonna do? Hopefully, you don't smoke. Um, I just think we should play the game, sir. I, I came here because I, I, I just think it's the right thing to do for the girls. I Your girls, know. my girls. I wouldn't put the girls through it. They're, they're, they're just too down, and if, if they lost, they'd be crushed. I mean, they haven't won a game all year. This is not the time to play. It'd be what the coach wanted. I'll start my subs. Are you telling me that you're willing to throw this game? I never said that. Is there dust in my eye? Are you telling me that the fix is in? I never said that. Oh, I, I, uh, I think I, I see what get you're it? getting at. Well, you know, a, a victory would be good for, uh, for this team and for the school morale. Win one for... Him, Coach Summers. You know what? Game's back on. Thank you. You are one right. selfless man. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll try this. a little bit so it's not staged. Oh, yeah, you don't want to make it look like no. it's fixed. Perfect. No. Thank you. All right. See you at tip off. Before we start practice, a little bit of great news. I got our last game back on. Yes! Maybe I'll get to play. Better than get to play, Kira. You're going to start the game. I wouldn't want to play if you died, sir. I'm not going to die, Strap. Everybody dies, Jay. Not going to die anytime soon, Mr. Hunt. Sooner than any of us, though. Not if a meteor hits us on the way to the game. Kills all of us at once, instantaneously. You ever think of that? I do. Every day. All right. Are we done with this? Come on. Big game. Let's go. 20 laps. Why would St. Pat's agree to play? Let's just say, uh, in so many words, I told him we'd lose. How many words? I said we'd start our subs. And will we? Yeah, but then I'm gonna pull them right away. I'm not gonna leave them in there. Jerry, that's not right. Do you like 7 a.m. practices outside? So if I win, I get senior boys volleyball next year, and I'm gonna need an assistant coach. And you can apply. So there, let's win. I can't support this. Support what? Simon, where are you going? Okay, well, don't come crawling back to me when we win. What are you doing? I need a lap. No, 20 laps. I can only do one. What do you want from me? Oh, boy. You seem a little nervous. <laughs> um, well, A, you're creeping me out. And B, A... Miss Mason, what would you say your worst quality is? Well, I was told recently that I work too much. Funny. Because I would have said your worst quality is betrayal. Betrayal? Mm -hmm. what, why, why would you say that? Here's your review. Why don't you read it aloud? Since I always counted Ms. Mason amongst my closest friends and legal beneficiaries... Yeah. I was hurt to learn she told Principal Callahan that Robert Cheeley blows. It's a page break. There's more. Things out of proportion. Robert, I never said any of these things about you. I don't think that you blow things out of proportion. You know me so well. But it does beg the question, if it wasn't you who said those things, then who was it? Mr. Leung. It's always Leung. Thank you, Miss Mason. All right, 
right. How are we feeling? It's a big game. Nervous. We've never played in front of this many people before, sir. What if we lose? I'm getting pizza tonight after the game. That's great, Kara. Not gonna lose. Did you see them in warm-up? They're not a strong team. They don't look ready to play. They're not into this game. Is okay? it because their coach died? Okay, look. Whether their coach is dead or alive right now, it doesn't matter. Don't start feeling sorry for them. I'm so confident we're gonna win this game, I'm gonna start Kira and Lucy. Yes! Not for long. I'm just gonna start. You're gonna go in and probably pull you out. All right? Okay, have a seat. Get started here. Hey. Mr. Duncan? Hi. Um, I just thought we'd have a short memorial for uh, Coach Summers before tip-off. That's a great idea. Girls, team, come on over. Looks like a good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I wanted to say a few words about Coach Summers before the game. The world became a darker place the day the flame went out for Coach Summers. The coach, he loved life. And he loved this team. But most of all, he loved winning. All right, so let's win this one for the coach. Yeah! What do you say? Yeah! 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 Can I say a few words? Hi, my name is uh, Mr. D, Mr. Duncan from Xavier Academy. I'm the coach there. Never easy to come play a game when you've lost such a good, good person. I remember my first experience with death. I was given a bird. My parents, probably your age, girls, tiny bird, Chico, little Chico. And uh, Chico died because I forgot to feed him for a few days. So I buried Chico in my backyard and days went by and I was missing him. So I wanted to see him. I didn't know about the whole thing, concept of decomposition and dug up Chico. It wasn't Chico. <laughs> no, it was not Chico. It was remnants of Chico. You ever eat a quarter chicken dinner and you're done? You take all the meat off? That's what it looked like, just what was left. I know you'd love to see your coach right now, but trust me, you do not want to go dig him up. Because you know what you'll find? You'll find a quarter chicken dinner. Or a whole chicken. I mean, he's... Do you guys see the movie Buried? Like, that is... Like, I'm claustrophobic. Is he claustrophobic? That, to me, is worse than dying. Because you're going to die. I think about that. I think a lot about being buried alive. Because it's, it's just... Being claustrophobic, that's something that... It's your worst fear. So what I, what I tell my family and friends is I say, when I die, bury me, but put a baby monitor in the coffin, right? You know, the part, the base, but you have the receiver at the top. So if, I'm, if I wake up and I wasn't dead, I would just, I could talk to people. And hopefully someone's walking around the graveyard. People always do. I'd ask that we have a, a minute of silence, if that's okay, just to honor, pay our respects. Bow our heads, please, girls, to honor and pay our respects. Coach Summers, start, wait. Wait, start now. It's five seconds so far. 55 more seconds. 50 seconds left. You know what? Let's just do 10 seconds of silence because we only have the gym for two hours, I think. So let's play some ball for Coach Summers. I trust you'll find this review interesting. Now, is there anything else you'd care to share? Feelings you've maybe expressed about me behind my back? Excuse me? Oh, come on, Wayne. Go ahead, just tell me. Just tell me exactly how it is you really feel about me. Very well. right for Malik also. Peace. Good job, good job, good job. Set it up, good, watch behind you. Watch the pick. Good, here we go, here it is, right there. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, get back, get back, get back. Nice. What 
you doing? Sir, when do I get to play? I only got to play for 10 seconds. And in that 10 seconds, we were down 4 nothing. okay? What's my Kira rule? When does Kira play? If we're winning by 60 points or losing by 60 points, Kira gets to play. And that's not the situation we're in. <gasps> Mom, did you get the pizza for later today? Kira, Kira, we're right in the middle of a game, okay? Sit down, don't worry about pizza. Oh, that's it, that's it. What's going on here, Duncan? Thought you said you are going to play your subs. I said I'd start my subs, and I did that. It's not my fault. Your girls are not into this game. Come on, man. Full court pressing, 11-year-old girl's coach just died. That's embarrassing. 18-0 run, that's embarrassing. Come on in, girls. Come here. Come here. Come here. We really got them on the ropes, huh, sir? Yeah. We do. Kira, you and Lucy are going to win the rest of the game, okay? <gasps> yes! What? Yes! But, sir, we're not winning by 60 points. Look, when you're older, you'll understand what I did there. But for now, you need to understand that sometimes you need to lose to win. That's bull. Sit down. What do I do, sir? Just do what you always do. That ought to do it. Just have fun. Get in there. No. No, it's not practice. No. Kira! Yeah? I actually, nothing. Robert, how did the performance reviews go? Great. Good. I mean, they went okay. I guess when you're dealing with a bunch of backstabbers, you never really know. Let me guess. You spent the entire day trying to figure out who it was that said you blew things out of proportion. It was Jerry, wasn't it? It wasn't Jerry. Well, don't tell me it was sweet little Simon. It was me. It was you? Yes, it was. And I was right. You blew it way out of proportion, and you let it affect your job. <sighs> you are so right. That's exactly what I did. Thank you, yet again, for teaching me another valuable lesson. Okay. All right, girls. Look, I'm really proud of what you just did. Why, sir? We lost. I know, Lucy, but do you know why you lost? Is it because you played Kira? No. What's that supposed to mean? Okay. In a roundabout way, yes, it's because I played Kira. That's, that's why we lost. Okay, go get changed. Good job, Kira. Yeah, good job. Shut up. I thought you had a date. No, I canceled. And oh. what about you? You were supposed to work. Well, I figured maybe for once I could come out and have a little fun. All right. Well, let's do that then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. Danny. Jerry. Well, welcome. Simon. Hello, Jerry. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Look at your hair. Mm -hmm. I curled it. You look like a girl. I mean, <laughs> you look like a, a woman. Uh, Come on. Normally, Bobby, you dress. It's very sweet what you did throwing the game. Yeah, it made yeah. the school look good, didn't I? Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people are talking about how nice that was. I saw the kid. Did you see what I did? Yeah. Sad, so did it for the, the school. Yeah, you know what? The more you're talking about it, the more you're kind of ruining it for me. So, okay, just take that. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't love you. I was just, it's <laughs> the song. So, good to see you. Hi, Jerry. Nice. That's good. Yeah, good. I really want to see where this is gonna go. Me too. Yeah, good. I'm glad. Nice. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Hey, it's Ray. Oh. Hi. Fun. Hey, Kate, what are you? What are you? What are you doing here? 
they offered me the job, so I might be working at Xavier next fall. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, Dean K. Trudy, Jerry. Hi. Jerry, Trudy, K. Trudy. So how do, how do you guys know each other? Uh, Trudy and I. Trudy is the at, secretary. At Kate. Kate, yeah. Kate, let me tell you. <laughs> Kate is worse, Kate. Making your buddy a little bricky. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? I mean, what am I doing here? I live here. That is a good point. It's... Listen, I want to talk to you about the Gene Kate scenario I had last night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to also talk to you about something. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> hey, Jerry. Miss Mason. That's my toothbrush. Oh, God. On a scale of 10, for sure. I got a kiss from Jean on the cheek. It was a 10, two, yeah. 10 kisses. Awesome, 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 awesome. For more Mr. D, please check out the website.